what if we shifted to Uranus? Firstly, if we shifted to ice giant Uranus, then we may keep on shivering all day long. Mm. Secondly, if we shifted to Uranus, we may be able to celebrate our first birthday only after getting extremely old, as one year on Uranus is 84 Earth years long. Mm. Lastly, if we shifted to Uranus, as Uranus has no oxygen, we may have to wear oxygen masks at all times. Hmm. What if humans shifted to Jupiter? Firstly, if humans shifted to Jupiter, humans may also start living on Jupiter's more than 100 moons. Hmm. Secondly, if humans shifted to Jupiter, humans may keep on running away from all the asteroids which keep on hitting Jupiter frequently. Lastly, if humans shifted to Jupiter, as Jupiter is mainly made up of gas, humans may keep on floating around. Hmm. Why does Mars have such a thin atmosphere? The first reason is Mars's low gravity. As a result, Mars is not able to retain gases. They easily escape into space. The second reason is the lack of a strong magnetic field. This leaves Mars's atmosphere vulnerable to the solar wind. The solar wind is a constant stream of charged particles from the sun that gradually remove Mars's atmospheric gases into space. Hmm. <laughs> what if Moon was replaced by Jupiter? Firstly, if Moon was replaced by Jupiter, Jupiter may now completely block the sun. Hmm. Secondly, if Moon was replaced by Jupiter, Jupiter may now start reflecting huge amount of light towards planet Earth. Hmm. Lastly, if Moon was replaced by Jupiter, tides on planet Earth will suddenly get much, much bigger. Hmm. Why is Mars called the dead planet? Firstly, Mars's core oh. cooled and solidified too quickly, causing it to lose its magnetic field. Secondly, without a magnetic field, the solar wind stripped away Mars's atmosphere. Thirdly, without an atmosphere, the water on Mars's surface completely evaporated. Lastly, as most of Mars's volcanic and tectonic activity occurred over 3 billion years ago, it is considered a dead planet now. What is the gravity like on Saturn? It is not that strong. In fact, even though Saturn is much larger than Earth, its gravity is only a little more as compared to Earth. <laughs> this is because, as compared to Earth, which is solid, Saturn is only made up of gases. Huh? This makes Saturn very light for its size. Actually, Saturn has the lowest density of all the planets in our solar system, even lower than the density of water. <laughs> is Jupiter a failed star? To start with, Jupiter is made up of hydrogen and helium the same elements as our Sun. But it is not massive enough to create the internal pressure and temperature needed to fuse hydrogen into helium. Basically, Jupiter would need to be about 75 times more massive to ignite nuclear fusion in its core. Hence, Jupiter is called a failed star, because it has the same ingredients as a star but didn't grow massive enough to ignite. What if Earth was made of bananas? Firstly, if Earth was made of bananas, monkeys may never leave planet Earth alone. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth was made of bananas, entire space may get littered with banana peels. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth was made of bananas, bananas may start rotting after some time, planets may start running away from planet Earth. Why doesn't Earth have Saturn-like rings? Simple, because only Chum Pum the King has those rings. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. It's got to do with Roach Limit. It is the distance at which objects tend to be ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, in case of Saturn, it is popularly believed that a celestial body like Moon or Comet got too close to it and exceeded the Roach Limit. Hence, it got ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. Now, Earth also has a moon. But since it is beyond the Roach limit, it doesn't get ripped apart into pieces to form rings. Hmm. How was the moon formed? No idea. 
Let's ask the moon. Huh? Oh, chum-pum. According to the giant oh. impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar-sized bodies collided twice, forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the moon. According to the capture theory, the moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple, because Chumpum is also red in color. Oh, Chumpum! Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks, soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. What if Earth started dancing? No big deal. Huh? Can the Earth dance like this? Oh, chum pum. Firstly, if Earth started dancing, humans will not be able to stand still anymore. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth started dancing, Earth's skyscrapers might start breaking down. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth started dancing, Earth may start spilling its water on its neighbors. Hmm. What if Earth was made of diamonds? Awesome! Now Chum Pum can easily read at night. Oh Chum Pum! Firstly, if Earth was made of diamonds, even black holes might start getting attracted towards the Earth. Hmm. Secondly, if Earth was made of diamonds, humans might take Earth completely apart. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth was made of diamonds, Earth may now start charging for selfies. Hmm. What if Earth became half moon? No big deal. Chum Pum will become half sun. Oh, huh? Chum Pum. Firstly, if Earth became half moon, Earth may now say goodbye to the original moon. Secondly, if Earth became half moon, Earth's moon half may keep on changing its shape. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth became half moon, Earth may now have to order moon glasses. Hmm. What if moon huh? became extremely bright? This is gonna be funny. Check it out. Huh? Oh, chumpum. Firstly, if moon became extremely bright, planet Earth may simply cover up the moon. Hmm. Secondly, if moon became extremely bright, even our sun may increase its brightness. Mm. Lastly, if moon became extremely bright, astronauts who are about to land may make a run for it. <laughs>